Hey guys, uh, got an itch to do some tent camping in the colder days here. So this is kind of my, uh, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't want to go below freezing on this, but you know, 35-ish might be a good temperature. So I know everybody likes gear reviews and things like that, so I thought I'd go over my things. We'll start, um over here. Get a little closer here. So, my puffy jacket. Um, the Geiger rig pack. I'm going to take the two liter with um, this is a Frontier Max filter. So it does viruses and bacteria. So, uh, I got a bacteria one. It's a basically half that size so I'm not sure if um, I'm even gonna need the virus one maybe I'll take the smaller one but anyways uh, I got a cello bivy just for emergency and then a poncho as well just in case you know I get too cold in this this is only a 45 degree bag a ledge 45 degree bag um, this is what's gonna really help this uh, reactor, this uh, Sea to Summit thermofabric reactor, extreme, so it's supposed to give me 25 extra degrees. I'm thinking more like 15, but I'm going to use it as a bag liner, pretty much. And um, the Sea to Summit pillow. I think it's a large. Uh, so we'll keep going here. Uh, we got the wind catcher. Air pad too, so this is um, my sleeping pad, which is kind of nice because it, you know, I don't have. To, it's like three puffs of air, and the whole pad is filled up. It's awesome. Uh, my cook stove is a uh, Esbit. Got all my extra stuff in here. I know you guys want to see in there, so I got the alcohol stove, titanium fork, spork. Um, this little silicone for the edge so I can drink out of this without burning my lips off and then um, you know this is kind of heavy but I don't know it's nice it's a little wind wind block uh, I've got a two man tent the Hubba Hubba NX um, so there's fuel for my alcohol stove, um, just a, some band aids, some neosporin. I think there's some lotion in there, um, some chapstick. I think there's a few normal band aids, a couple bigger band aids, some Tylenol, some Biofreeze. Um, it's kind of like a bear cord. I think there's like. 45 feet somewhere around there ish maybe less than that 20 30 feet of rope some wet wipes toothbrush um, power pack this will do my um, smartwatch like 20 times and my phone three times so I think that's good enough um, small cut co knife lighter uh, Nightcore. This thing weighs like an ounce. It's awesome. I'm gonna probably replace the band as well. Uh, leave no trace. So I got a the deuce number two. So that only weighs 0.6 ounces. Uh, go through my clothes here. So it's gonna be kind of cold. So I brought a. It's a ski cap. Um, these are just some cycling gloves they'll they're probably not warm enough but I think moving around that'd be alright um, some Columbia pants zip off pants a Vargo long sleeve quarter zip shirts Vargo normal shirt t-shirt then the Indira long john system um, I have two pairs of underwear, three pairs of socks, and then a pair.
pair of uh, Ninjinji liners, and then a Frog Tug Extreme Light um, raincoat, and then for my oh, and I have some trekking poles here, some uh, black diamond trekking poles. If I'm going to use the the backpack here, the, it's an Atmos AG50, or if I go backpacking, I'll use these pannier bags. Um, they are uh, oh, I got this Atmos Axiom. These are Axiom bags. So those are two 45 liter bags. Oh yeah, I forgot the Thermoross bud pad. Um, but yeah, that is all my gear. Um, I haven't weighed it yet. I'm going to put it all, close and everything, and find out. I'm going to put it all in this bag here and weigh it and find out how much it all weighs. And then I'll get back to you. Alright guys, well there's a look at all the gear that I've had for hiking or bicycling. Um, if you guys want me to pull a piece of gear and review it separately, um, leave a comment down below, like, subscribe.